Happy New Year. It is 2020. 2019 is a wrap. I have got a review on a fragrance that come out in 2019 and it's a banger and it was a Christmas present. Stay tuned. I finally found what I'm missing and now you got all my attention. Driving me wild, got me wishing that you were all mine. You're irresistible. Welcome back to Carolina Fragrance Reviews. I'm your host, Cam. Make sure that you're subscribed, activate that notifications bell, and follow us on Instagram at cam.bird. Do it! If you guys haven't checked out our merch store, make sure to go down below and click this link right here. They look pretty snazzy. Lots of different choices, and we're actually fixing to add a few things, so if there's something you want to see in that merch store, be sure to leave it in the comments. The 2019 release I'm talking about is none other than Byron Parfum's The Chronic. Now yeah, if you guys know anything about this fragrance at all, you know, a lot of people are like bananas about it. And whether you've seen anything about it or not, I had the same question that everybody else did. Does this have cannabis? The Chronic for me was Dr. Drizze and the SNOOP, talking about Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg with the good old gangster rap that I used to bang all the time in my car. So I thought for sure this would have some of that green leafy chivo or, you know, whatever. We're not gonna get into all the different strains and strands and whether it was indica or sativa or any of that stuff, because it does not pertain to this. This is a beautiful, creamy sandalwood fragrance that actually just blew my socks off. I do have to give credit to Chris from Fragmental when we did our collaboration and he was talking about his most worn fragrances of 2019. While we were not filming, even though he was raving about it on camera, he's like, oh mate, you really gotta get it. And I was like, okay. So I just made it my goal to make sure that I got it. And some of Byron's stuff is really good. Like Mula Mula just completely knocked my socks off. There was a couple of them that I want like super, super crazy about. And for some reason, this one just kind of fell off my radar. After that collab with Chris, I actually started looking for it. And I knew that they had the Byron Parfums at Crystal Fragrance. And lo and behold, she was out of stock. I saw that Door Parfums carried it they were out of stock, so nowhere in the United States was this available. So I actually picked this up from an Etsy store in France. Took a while for it to get here, but when it got here, I was like, oh my God, I see what all the hype is about. So when I was wondering how they come up with the name The Chronic for something that does not have even a remote smell of a cannabis note in it, the addiction aspect of the chronic would definitely play into this. I actually had to kind of back off of this one because when I first got it, I was wearing it like a lot. I mean, and we're just talking about in the past uh, 10 days, it, uh, not even. So yeah, I've worn this several times. I've already put a good dent in this bottle. So as this thing dries down, you definitely get that creamy sandalwood. You also get some dark resinous woody tones about it. It's just a beautiful fragrance, very well put together. There's a couple of notes in here that are listed that are a little bit deceiving, like leather. I don't get leather. While we're talking about the notes, let's just go ahead and go over the official notes. The Chronic was released in 2019. The notes are pepper, cinnamon, amber, leather, patchouli, sandalwood, and white musk. If you like, like fun fragrances, this is for you. If you like gourmand fragrances, this is for you. Now it's not full on gourmand, but if you like those type of scent profiles, you're definitely gonna like this. This one opens up sweet. I know a lot of people have even said like a bubble gum vibe. I see what they mean by that, but like my brain is already pre-wired for bubble gum fragrances. That's like 
Invictus or One Million, uh, you know, those type of DNAs. I see what they mean, but it doesn't have that coin bubblegum thing to me. That's just to my nose. But the spiciness of the pepper and the cinnamon mixed with the sweetness just really kind of just fills the entire room. And I didn't even realize how much because it just smelled so good. Uh, I kind of oversprayed this to begin with. This one has insane performance. I got like two and a half to three hours of performance when I first put this on and then 10 plus hours on longevity. And then, you know, if you're spraying it on your clothes, you can go back the very next day after you've worn it all day and it almost smells like you just sprayed it on there. So this is definitely something you might want to go easy on the trigger because it's very, very beastly. Fragrances like this are definitely fun and youthful. Definitely right in my wheelhouse. Definitely the type of fragrance that I really, really vibe off of. This one definitely gives off like a youthful vibe about it. Definitely unisex all day. There's no question about that. Um, I wouldn't say that this would be like your grandfather's fragrance by any means, unless your grandfather is like, you know, all ripped and picking up 20 year old girls or something. Yeah, you might want to buy this for him. When to wear the Chronic. Uh, wow, this one has a lot of depth to it. It's got a lot of attitude to it. So even though it has a lot of depth and the performance is stellar, I think that this could easily be worn in three seasons, fall, winter, and spring, as long as you don't get like a super hot spring. If you do, definitely go easy on the trigger. This one definitely will creep up on you. As I said, I have already been guilty of over spraying this. So I know even in the cold weather, this one can be a bit too much. So just know your limitations with this, even though it's highly addictive. The Chronic is available in a 1.7 bottle like this, and this is the Extra de Parfum. So that would actually kind of explain the insane performance on this. Beautiful, amazing, sexy fragrance. I find it to be very, very sexy for what I like to wear. I think this would even smell sexy as I'll get out on a woman. So yeah, unisex all day, fun. It's very versatile, I would even think, you know, just as long as you're careful with your application. It's a great fragrance to wear for date night, a uh, night out, hanging with friends. If you were to wear it to work, just, you know, gauge that. If you're in a cubicle situation, probably not so much unless you just did like maybe like a half spray or something like that. If you have a workplace where you're just walking around doing whatever the heck you want to, this could even be worn at work. So if you like a warm and spicy and sweet and highly addictive creamy sandalwood fragrance, the Chronic is definitely something that you need to at least, at the very least, you owe it to yourself, sample it. So if you're thinking about sampling the Chronic, go to today's sponsor, www.myfragrancesamples.com. Make sure to enter our discount code CFR15 and get 15% off of the Chronic. But if you're not into warm, sweet, and spicy, creamy sandalwood fragrances, they have hundreds of brands, hundreds of choices, lightning fast shipping, free sample every time you order. Go to www.myfragrancesamples.com. It wasn't actually planned that the Chronic was going to be a Christmas present, but being that it landed on my porch like December 24th, yeah, I would say it was an awesome Christmas present to myself. I did get a couple other gifts. You saw one of them the other day. I still have a couple more, so we will still be showing you some of the Christmas fragrance presents. So am I disappointed that the Chronic doesn't have any cannabis in it? No, not at all. This is actually probably going to give my other favorite pick from Byron Parfums, Mula Mula, a run for its money. As of right now, it's actually like out ahead a little bit. And that's saying a lot. You know, you guys have seen Mula Mula in a few lineups. So yeah, if they've come out with this and come out in front, they're doing something good over at Byron Parfums. So that's gonna wrap it up for the Chronic. Make sure whatever you do, be disruptive. Wear what you want, when you want, have fun. Make sure that you're subscribed to Carolina Fragrance Reviews. Activate that notifications bell. Smash that like button. Leave us some comments down below. We'll see you next time on Carolina Fragrance Reviews.